How's it going? Centerpoint Securities here, bringing you another tip video using the DOS trading platform. Uh, today we're going to be taking a little closer look at the chart. You can see mine here loaded in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, note that many traders do like to have multiple charts open at one time. So to do that, just go up here to the main toolbar, click this little candlestick graph icon. Um, you can see another one pop up here. Um, so you can do that if you'd like to have multiple open. Totally up to you. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that for now. I'll make this a little bigger for us to see. Uh, so we see we have Smith & Wesson loaded up here to load different securities onto the chart. Go ahead and just begin typing on your keyboard. You don't even need to click anything. So for example, if I just type in FP, you can see Facebook load there, Apple, um, different things like that, Yahoo. Um, so totally up to you, whatever you want loaded, we'll go ahead and keep Yahoo on here for now. Um, so to change the chart, you can use the main toolbar up here and use these icons. They can be useful for uh, quick access to certain things, but to get a little more into the specifics, you can go ahead and right click in the chart area and you can uh, configure your data right from here. So configure is going to um, give you options to change colors, add horizontal grid lines, change line styles, um, change the color of the lines, different things like that. Um, I'll leave it all the same for now. This is where you're going to save your default as well. I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, another right click moving further, data configuration. This is where you can also um, uh, upload a chart that you want to look at. So for example, if we type in a security here, Cognex, and then go down here. We want to look at a day chart perhaps and three days. Go ahead and click commit and you can see our chart change there. Um, again, another right click going down to study configuration. This is where you're going to want to add and remove studies from your chart. So for example, say we want to look at volume. We'll select volume and click select. If you want a moving average, go ahead and select moving average and select. You can see a move over here into this area. This is where the studies in the chart are going to be shown. If you want to remove them, just highlight it and remove, and you can see it move there. So this is what's going to come up in the chart to um, configure these. So say we wanted to see price as a line, go ahead and click configure and go to line and say we wanted it to be pink and go ahead and click OK there and commit. Uh, same thing with volume. You can configure that however you like. So go ahead and commit and you can see our chart change styles there. Uh, so it's totally customizable to your liking. Again, if you think um, if this is what you'd like and this is the function and uh, style of the chart you want to use, you can right click, go back to configure and click save as default and OK. Now when you pull up any chart, um, it's going to come up with the same default settings that you just set. Um, so you can see me change between Apple, Yahoo, um, different things. I'll go back to Cognex and you can see it there. Um, so customizable to your liking. Going a little further, uh, trend lines, you can add trend lines right here, um, edit them however you'd like. Montage, if you wanted to go right into trading Cognex, you can click Montage and you can see the order window pop up there um, with CGNX already loaded. Um, so that's a pretty useful tool. Um, a right click and going down to chart area, you can add a new chart area so you can see that change there. Um, I can go ahead and right click in this area and add a study. So I'll add price and then change it to a candle and click commit and commit again. And you can see my price come up in a candle up there just in that chart area. So anything you right click and change in this chart area, um, we'll only change it for this specific area. Um, so for example, if I go to study configuration, add a moving average and click commit, you can see it only add it to this area. To get rid of that, you can go to chart area. Uh, you can move it up or down. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it and you can see what we're left with what we were before. Um, so a couple different things you can do, save and load settings that you'd like. Um, look at chart history, manage data, different things like that. So totally up to you. That's pretty um, user friendly and customizable. So however you want to configure that is, uh, is up to you. I uh, hope this was a useful video and thanks for watching.